Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a very easy job, it's just some basic maintenance on this 2010 Infiniti, it's an EX35. We're just going to be changing the cabin filter and replacing it with a new one. Now the cabin filter is a fairly easy maintenance item, but if you don't replace it regularly, this becomes clogged with all the leaves and debris and you have loss of air circulation inside the vehicle, plus you get that musty, damp, dirty smell. All right, so that's what we're going to be replacing, going to be replacing, and this is what we're going to need to open it up and get it out of there. Basically, you just need a screwdriver. That's all you need to get in there. What we're going to do is we're going to go inside, we're going to open that cover up, we're going to take the cover, we're going to rock it back and forth, and there's three clips on the bottom of it that'll pop out. There's going to be a cable connected to it with a, uh, with a spring-loaded um, cable. So we're going to take that cable and pull it off the glove box cover, remove the cover, then we're going to take out the six or eight screws, whatever it is that holds the cover in place, pull that cover down, and gain access to this filter. Um, it sounds easy and it's really not that hard. The hardest problem is going to be getting that cover off and getting that cover back on because sometimes it's a little tight to get it to pop back in. So, uh, all right, enough BS. Let's get in there. Let's get this job done and out the door and hopefully on to the next one. Okay, now, I'm going to try to do this the best I can show you. You just take the glove box, you open it up, and you're just going to take the box left and right, and you're going to rock it back and forth, and we're going to get the box to come out, and then we're just going to maneuver it to get these little tabs right here to pop out. All right, we're going to take this down, and on this side here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, you see this cable that's attached right here? we need to take that cable off. So basically we're just going to hold the glove box up, we're going to come in here, and we're going to pull the cable off. Like that. We're just going to go back in, we're going to take our glove box out totally. And remember what I was telling you about it being a little tight to get it back on? You see down on the bottom right here, those little clips right there? That's where it's going to be a little bit difficult to get it back in. We need to put this box here, right here, all three of these, on that rod down there, and then just push it in place. So for now, we're just going to put this off to the side. And then we're going to come in over here, and we're going to take out six of the screws, or eight, whatever it is in here. So let's unscrew them, and uh, let's take that out. screws out. We're going to take this little cover and side out just like this. Make sure we have no screws in here, which we don't. And now we're going to take this and we're just going to pull it out. Just like that. All right. Now this, you can take this out if it's in your way. You can pull this pin out here and remove it, but you don't really need to. We're going to take this cover here and just open it up just like this. Pull it, and it can dry it out. And you can see already there's feathers and stuff on here. All right, take this out. We'll get rid of this. And we're going to put a new filter in. Now the filter itself, You'll notice that there's an arrow on here. You need to have the airflow so it's flowing through there, which is this way here. 
So the airflow has to go down this way. And now we'll put this back in. Right there. We're going to take our couple. We're going to get these two little tabs locked in. And then we'll snap it in place. That's back in. Now we're going to take this. Now you can see that this little piece here popped out. This is your uh, sensor that's got to go back in here. Or I should say your... Looks like a light of some sort. Most likely when your headlights are on. And we'll take this. Put it back in. And you'll feel it snap back in. Like that. And now we're going to reinstall all of the screws that we previously took out. When you put the screws back in, just catch them in there. Don't screw them in tight yet. As you can see, sometimes these little clips fall out. These are the clips that actually have the bolts that screw in, the screws screw into it, so we need to put this back in. Okay, now once all the screws are in, you could tighten them all up. Now remember, you just go in into plastic, so you just have to snug them. You don't have to go real tight.
Okay, so now our cover's back on there. We're going to reattach this. This just pushes right in, just like that. I'm going to take this piece here, it goes on like this, and that's it. Next thing we're going to do, and this is where I told you you're going to run into a little bit of an issue. You need to get this piece here, those little clips back inside, down the bottom, right on here, where they belong. So you'll need to catch it in there and rock it back and forth and snap it down. But you got to get these little tabs here, here, in first. All right? So we're going to get it in there, just like that. And then we're just going to line it up. Just like that. And you feel a snap in, like that. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to get that cable down there and we're going to reattach that cable that we removed. Sometimes the cable, you just have to go by feel because you really can't even get your, your hands in there, but I'll show you what it looks like. Hopefully you can see it. See how it reconnects down inside there on the side? Right down there. I think you may be able to see it, but that's how it snaps back on. All right, and then we just close our box up, and that's it. We're all set. Now, if you push the box up, and it doesn't close up properly in here, that just means that one of your clips down here, one of your three clips is not locked in all the way. All right, so uh, that's it, we're all done. Okay, so that's it. As you can see, it's fairly easy to do. It's really not that difficult. The hardest problem you may have is trying to snap that glove compartment lid back into those three little tabs on the bottom. If it's real tight and you can't get it in, you could put a little bit of like silicone on there to make it snap in there a little bit easier. But you really shouldn't even have to do it. I, I usually never do, I just snap them right in. Get that piece in there, make sure you put that little clip on with the string in there because it actually keeps the box from falling down quickly. It'll, it'll actually allow the, the glove box to open slowly and not to fall down quickly. All right, that's it, you're all done. All right, like always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.